Now, with regard to the, sec the first of these, developmental change, as a neuropsychologically informed person, we can really ask, how do we actually grow the good that lasts? Inside ourselves, inside other people, as the basis for growing the good that lasts in our precious troubled world. How do we actually do it? Well, inside the Big Bang universe, the natural frame of the ordinary, materialistically unfolding Big Bang universe, any kind of lasting change of mind broadly, including change of heart, must involve a lasting change in the brain. But other than whatever those are, and you don't have to believe in them to kind of participate here, other than that, whatever might be that, it's about changing the brain. It's really fairly straightforward to have beneficial, useful experiences moments of compassion, moments of mindfulness, uh, you know, moments of self-worth, moments of commitment to sobriety, whatever those might be. Experiences are easy. That's the easy part. Or in the saying from brain science, there is neurons firing together. That's the easy part. How do we get them to wire together as well? We have a brain that's like Velcro for the bad, but Teflon for the good, as I say, because that's what kept our ancestors alive back during Jurassic Park or on the Serengeti Plains or during Game of Thrones, right? So how do we actually do that? 